Hello my Scorpions, how are you? This is Marie Elaine and I have a wonderful oracle reading for you for June 2014 and I'm going to call upon these lovely angel feather cards to share my message with you. But just before I do, I'd like to share with you that I am actually launching in June a e-course. It's called the 30 Magical Days of Transformation and it's all based on law of attraction principles and it's been created to help lift your vibrational essence to what I call above the hopeful line. So for 30 days you'll be receiving a daily task for you to complete plus a couple of other little surprises along the way and it's going to help shift your, pers your perspective um, to actually help you um, see things differently, increase your awareness and also um, just to instill this new way of being, you know, to create this lovely contentment going on you know but we have the final say as to how our life pans out this is really just to help create an awareness so here's your cards let's see what I can share with you uh, via the angels this month in June so the first card I have here is oh okay so um, it says accept life as it is right now so when I ever, whenever I see this card there could be some sort of unsettling event going on in your life at the moment which is grabbing most of your attention and whilst you're giving it all of your focus change can't come in order for you to create a new outcome you just have to make peace with what's going on currently in your life then once the resistance has been um, released new things can flow to you and what I say to people when I'm coaching I like this one I just say step outside look up look up at the clouds because that's where all the solutions float. If we're looking down at the problem, we're missing the answers. So um, yeah, that's okay. Just accept things as they are and then new beginnings can flow. Oh, look at this. Invite a miracle. Oh, I so believe in miracles. Um, but we are the creator of them. You know, people think that you know they're gifted to us. No, it, it, we are the miracle. We are the creators. We we have the um, magic wand in our hands at all times. But you know how we um, can spread that magic? Through belief. It all comes down to what we believe to be true and then that is actually what will be. Okay, let's see what the third card is for the month. Oh, love is in the air. How nice is this card? I think just about every zodiac so far has received a card of love in some form. So, you know, be open to seeing it. Be open to be open to receiving it you know love is magic love is miracles you know love is everything so oh, enjoy that magical essence that's going to be floating to you this month and the fourth card is oh so if you've been um feeling a little under the weather this card is to remind you that you know your health is being restored and we we are self-healing amazing human beings you know, we're just starting to really start to tap into our healing potential. And what I like to share with people is, you know, nature. Nature has all the um, the healing potential that we need, whether it be through herbs or, or food or, you know, just sitting underneath a tree and feeling that healing, pulsing energy coming to us. I see amazing healing properties there. Even just a little gentle walk along the foreshore, allowing the salt water just to cover our feet, feeling that those grains of sand, you know, massaging our feet. Oh, just try it and see what happens. And my health tip for this month, I don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but I am putting turmeric in just about everything that I can. I'm not quite sure why, but I just feel that this golden spice has got so many healing potentials. I like the way that it colours the food. It makes it all golden and, and very edible. So um, it's such a word that just came out. So, you know, have fun this month, Scorpions. I think, you know, life has been a little bit interesting for you for the past few months. But I think June, things are really going to lighten up. So oh, I love sharing my messages. And, you know, feel free to um, send me some feedback towards the end of the month. I'd love to hear how it pans out for you. Bye.